My name is Madison Packer. I'm a forward for the Metropolitan Riveters. I started skating when I was about three. I played boys hockey till I was a freshman in high school. Then I made the switch to girls hockey. I ended up going to University of Wisconsin in Madison. Then the NWHL formed, so this will be my fourth season in the NWHL. There's a misconception that, that the sport's not as physical because we don't we can't hit. But you know, that's definitely not the case. End of the game, I had you know kind of had a breakaway. I was going in on an empty net. A player caught me from behind. I ca caught an edge, kind of weird, went down and landed kind of in like the half splits and just tweaked my hip the wrong way. Immediately felt that I did something. That's when I tore my labrum and we knew something was wrong. The biggest driver behind why I retired was because it was just a lot to, to come back from that injury and. You know, I have a lot of respect for, for players that do it multiple times, you know, who, who go through injuries. Um, and as much as I love playing in the league, you know, it's, it's tough to come back. I knew I had to have hip surgery, and so I went and saw Dr. Lomas. We had a conversation with her, and we felt that her hip was in good enough shape that we could fix the problem. What we ended up doing was a hip arthroscopy, and so just through two tiny little incisions, two little poke holes around the hip, we were able to contour the hip and then fix the labrum. It was phenomenal. My mom drove me to the facility, had surgery, woke up, and I immediately felt like a new person. And the next day I was riding a bike. Even having just been cut into and you know getting all that stuff fixed up, it felt a hundred times better than it did before. Within a few weeks of her rehab, she already felt like she might be able to return the next year. The way my body responded to the surgery was what drove me to, to decide to keep playing. The season that I came back, we ended up winning the Isabel Cup at the end of the season, and I led the league in scoring. Just the, the best feeling you can imagine from the entire team that helped her get there, including myself, her trainer, physical therapist, everybody who was involved in the care, in contrast to what could have been, which was her watching from the sidelines. I think the future is bright. My hip feels great. The hip I just had fixed feels better than the hip on the other side. So I'll probably play another season or two. And that definitely wouldn't have been possible if, you know, if I hadn't gotten fixed up.